Hi guys, I'm Garen. I'm Judy. And this is Investigating Comic Club, where we chronologically read, review, discuss, and rate specific crucial stories of the medium. Indeed, and we hope that you guys will subscribe to become misfit members of Comic Club yourselves. Share your own opinions in the comments below. Stick around till after our conversation for our episodic comic quality poll. And after the Misfit Picture Show's logo for any potential bloopers that the episode could provide. Mr. Garen. Yes. We were going to uh, start reporting on the Empire alien yep. invasion tonight. We were ready. We were ready. It was going to be midnight my time and 2 a.m. your 2 time. 2 a.m. my time, we yep. We were ready. You got all, you got all hopped up on the uh, caffeine. I was ready to go. I was ready. I even took a nap. Then what happened? Then they shut it down. Yeah. They shut it down. They pulled the definitive plug on yep. the uh, the comic book industry. I I was really looking forward to the digital stuff. I mean, yeah, I, that's a tough one. It is a tough one because I I kind of I'm looking at v- different viewpoints of it and I'm wondering. Like first instinct is going, come on, you can just do digital. Come on. I just, what are you talking about? You want still people to be reading. Like it was money. already, it was already kind of not doing good. They were doing, even now with them getting back on with the new house and powers and this whole Hickman run and everything, they were still hoping to ride that out now with the whole empire. And then, but now for them just to pull the plug and be like, okay, we can't do digital either, yeah. which you know, the whole helping out with comic book shops and making it so that, um, you know, hearing from different places that we've read and you've, you've seen more than I have as far as just the inventory of being able to, because a lot of them are closed or are only doing mailings pretty much. So like you order from them and then they mail it. So it was making it harder for shops to do a, um, order in it for it to be act more accurate, which I get. And then you're going to have more people. Maybe if you do the digitals only, then they're going to get kind of used to that and be like, well, why would I even go get printed copies anymore? And that ruins that. So I see that standpoint, but it's still like to just shut it down. It's difficult. You know, diamond is the main, essentially it almost has like an all, but, like it's got kind of a legal monopoly on distributing comic books mm-hmm. to the industry and the comic book shops. They stopped last week. And then um, Marvel and DC, literally hours before the digital would have gone on sale on Marvel Comics and Comicsology, they decided to pull the plug. I don't think Marvel has given a date, but DC says April 29th. Um, and I do understand... You know, if they kept doing digitally, one, they would lose out on hard copy sales inevitably because, well, I already have the digital. I don't need the hard copy. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yep. Two, the comic shops, it would be like an influx of a bunch of issues that many people wouldn't order or buy yeah. because of what I just said. Yeah. How would the comic book shops order that it is tough yeah but it would have been cool to have this would be a crazy time to talk about you know like as far as the digital age apocalypse of comics. i think it would be a few a few titles from each of the main two companies mm-hmm. it would be an interesting testing of how it would go you know like yeah keep publishing maybe decide on four titles or five titles. Yeah. And kind of, it is, it it is crazy. Escape is entertainment. It is crazy how not all of it was, but for, for a lot of part comics was created as propaganda, you know, during hard times Mm -hmm. and how you could get even just a little snippet in the newspaper. Yep. And now for them taking away that escapism that we are mm-hmm. hoping for, you know, especially in a time that we need it more than ever. Mm-hmm. And for that to be taken away is what I think is the hardest pill to swallow mm-hmm. for the core of what the reason for 
comics in the first place. That's interesting, Garen. I think, um, you know, fortunately there are so many out there that even though I have tens of thousands of comics probably in my closet, probably, yeah. you know, 25,000 comics or something. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. No idea. But luckily, even with that, I'll never run out of new comic books to read. Even For if sure, yeah. Or another yeah. comic book published. And with us in our format and what we're doing as you, a new reader, and me kind of showing you which ones mm -hmm. to read chronologically, we have... We have a bunch to choose from. No, we have a lot. Yeah. I, I was talking about that today being like, well, I guess it's over. I'm like, no, now we go into a uh, JD's comic book shop <laughs> and we uh, pull up that and we go into that reading order. Yeah. You we actually dive in that. Done. I was like, well, I guess game over. It's too bad. Cause now we have this new format and I was excited to just like, okay, we're just going to post them. It's going to yep. be raw. There's going to be burps of sound. There's going to be screen. Yeah. Things, and there's going to be lulls of you and me collecting our thoughts. And yeah. the viewer will be like, okay. Oh, you know, like, on? <laughs> but it, will, it is just, you know, it's content that you guys will have either audibly or visually to watch. Um, yeah. And it also, today when we heard that, I was like, well, damn, I guess that's, is that it? But you were the one that said, well, we've been talking about Watchmen. You know, that, that excited me because this also provides a nice thing for me to look forward to. Yeah. And I kind of like the idea for Watchmen, especially with this style even, because mm -hmm. it is in the shadows, you know, or it is like that. Just it kind of goes with what we already kind of do and trying to do with Empire. Yeah, that's interesting. I think that um, I would like to do two comics. I would like to do, and there's, there will eventually be a purpose to this. Yeah. I would like to do Superman's Secret Origin by Jeff Superman. Jones and Gary Frank. Gotcha. And Watchmen. I would like to do the first chapters of those when yeah. we do this week. You know? Yeah. But tonight, right now, we're going to play a little bit of catch up and we've got X-Force issue eight by Benjamin Percy. Mm -hmm. Bazal Dua. Dude, what's going on? They're, these impossible <laughs> names, they're difficult. And Guru Effects. I believe Guru Effects and ba Bazal Dua are coming back from the previous issue. Of X Force. Yeah, those are hard names. I wouldn't even. Nope, not even gonna try. Benjamin Percy is is obviously yep. our. Yep. Oh man, um, I th think this cover is actually pretty bad. The Doesn't, cover of of X Force number eight here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the same artist, Dustin Weaver. Mm -hmm. Um. It's just, it looks rushed and sloppy. None of the, neither character has like, it seems like the appropriate weight distribution. Like they look, they don't, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. One of my I, favorite I mean, characters. That, you know, that it, yeah. Then that's, I think that's also maybe something for you. Cause I can't, it's not, it's not a cover that pops for me, you know, like even us doing, um, uh, what was it that we just did? Um, Empire. Um, Empire that, and X-Men. Yeah, those initial good. ones. Yeah, very good covers. So then you have this is not as great, but then throw in there, you know, your favorite characters. It's You're, you're always going to want more with that. I, I agree with it fell short with the cover, but there are some great great shots in here that i loved mm, absolutely yeah different different artists than the interior that's yeah uh, yeah for sure Weaver, who did all the other covers for x-force yep and mm -hmm. he's done some amazing ones like that domino sage cover and the sage by yep. cover like awesome he's a great artist there's just something about this cover that doesn't quite look correct um and then we're into we're into this little prologue you want to talk about that for a sec 
prologue here. Mm-hmm. It um, because this is where we were. Do we leave off on this? I couldn't remember if I we left, we left off. off with the reveal of this yep. negative That's right. domino yep. walking out of a casino, getting away from. Yep. Them. Yep. And then so for them jumping in and having these multiple ones, which we already knew from the past issues, but now for it coming face to face, it was. I mean, I oh, this, wait, wait, don't, this, don't do the multiple ones yet. We're doing the prologue. It's just this one that she was chasing last time. No, I know, but I'm saying for us knowing the multiple ones. That's what I'm saying is like there's still two of them in this in this initial one. That's what I was saying. Like for it to be her chasing it and now coming into this hotel room, you know. Mm-hmm. Um Creepy. There's something to be it's her cre- Yeah. When she she actually fully takes off and D almost detaches like a what do you call it um a what's that strangle cord what? yeah 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 i was like oh geez this is well planned this is this and the art in this is what helps me read it the most you mm-hmm. know like you have percy who is who is letting it flow mm-hmm. but it was great because i even went back a few times to to look at the art again because i was like i was actually enjoyed it that's awesome. This is a very this is a different artist than Kasara, yeah. who is the mm-hmm. regular, yeah, and a different yeah. colorist. But this colorist grew. Yeah, it wasn't as dark. He's following the same type of scratchy um, color lines, mm-hmm. so he's he's following. They're both following the example that was set and established. I don't think this art is as good as attractive as Kasara. But he's a very good panel to panel storyteller. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that would be the really makes it better up. way of explaining it. Yeah. Cause, it, yeah, it wasn't that grittiness of what mm-hmm. I'm used to, you know, what I loved about the other ones. Mm-hmm. But, um, but it wasn't enough for like to go back and see even just that end shot right before with her right over the body just shooting it right through the eye. Yeah. 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 I think, um, it, it surprised me that Domino was in the room and setting her up and also surprised me that there was such a quick resolution with this negative Domino. Like the, the prologue does take care of her. Yeah. And um, I thought that was excellent. You know, good pacing. I was like, you know, edge on my edge of my seat, but definitely expecting the negative Domino to get away. Yeah. Definitely not expecting Domino to actually kill her and um mm-hmm. and that, that end that end position was totally one of those moves of like yep i got her yeah 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 and domino has even, always what's that what even when her just her saying that i even wrote that down even her just saying oh hey look we matched <laughs> yeah domino man she is a she's a dynamite character and benjamin percy he is truly embracing all of all of the potentiality of the character. Like he's truly realizing it, I think. And it's really, really a joy to watch. Um, mm-hmm. that, that one panel, the silhouette panel of her eye getting shot out. Yeah. Awesome. Would she get her bone out of her body to kill him? Yeah. <laughs> like, and she's got Domino, her DNA right down. Strange, strange. So moving forward, the, the issue is called Lucky for You. And if you, mm-hmm. again, Domino, Sage, and Colossus primarily, similar to the last issue. Mm-hmm. And we're here in the healing gardens of Krakoa with... Uh, Dr. R- uh, C- Cecilia Reyes and Sage and Domino. And they jumped. And it's... I, I, I think I liked uh, uh, Colossus a lot more on this issue. I, the cover I didn't like too much, you know, after I was talking about it even. It wasn't, it was more of an indifferent for me for the cover, but throughout it, 
liked Colossus a lot more. And then you have that shot. I mean, I'm jumping a little bit, but that shot of both of them, just like side by side. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's poster worthy. It's it's cool. They're they're a dynamic duo, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I like um I like the quiet, kind of disturbing dissection of the negative domino. And mm -hmm. I like that um Domino found a four leaf clover. You know, it's such mm -hmm. a small thing. And Sage, who's kind of that mystery person, we I find her very intriguing. I don't know how you feel about her, but I think we've gotten less of her than anyone else in the series. Even Quentin Quire, we've gotten a bit more of him. Yeah. Sage, even though she's been very present, she doesn't speak often. We don't know much about her. Mm -hmm. And the little um, detail of her putting the four-leaf clover behind her ear. Yeah. I think it's just like a very endearing... Along the way, Sage has, there's just been moments, if you're watching the visual storytelling, that are very yeah. tough. Of and we've, we've kind of said that since House and Powers, I think, too. She was in there for a little bit, yeah. For a second, and then the beginning of X-Force, mm -hmm. you know, the very beginning yeah. of those moments where you're just seeing her perspective, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. she's been quietly, I think, agreeing with the audience all the time. So even in the issue where I was kind of upset with Beast and I was like, Are they, what? He's a villain. Like, why is he directing our team? Why is he? Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. Sage was quietly doubtful of him. She was yeah. giving him the, weir the wary, like, what are you up to? And now Domino is voicing that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe that was the next issue. That was the next issue. Oops, jumping ahead. Sorry, spoiler. Jumping ahead. Don't jump ahead. Don't jump ahead. How um, beautiful. The healing water. Oh. It like was so precious and valuable, this discussion and meeting between Peter and Domino in this pool, what they were saying to each other, that they are damaged. Mm-hmm. It's another one of those moments like when they were outside mm -hmm. that they got to have together and he put his guard down. Mm -hmm. and they, you know, they both did. So they each having yeah. another one of those bring back moments of like, which helps ground it, I think, even more, especially in this series with how intense it can get. And then you bring this back to ground it. It's, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It is really pretty. And I think not just because I'm happy to hear you say that because, you know, these are probably the two, even more than Peter and the newer Kate, I'm kind of rooting for Pete and Domino here as far as mm -hmm. kind of the whole island, the whole cast of characters, I think them and maybe Nightcrawler. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of rooting for the most. Um, and again, a visual detail. Last time Peter de-armored for Domino, this time when yep. he reaches out to her, he's reach he's trying still, but he does armor up before he embraces her. Like they're both they're very they're they're damaged, you know, they're very mm -hmm. hurt. Mm -hmm. They've both been violated. And they are reaching for each other, but they're also scared to, I think. Yeah. It's really, it's, it's powerful. It's really nicely done. I'm really impressed by Benjamin Percy across. The I was, I was saying that too. Like, I mean, again, he's one of the ones who I wish at Comic-Con or something I could have <laughs> met, you know? And, um, sure. And then even how he transitions with the writing with the, the it jumps a bit, but after that, with the whole, four leaf clover bringing that back and having like just connecting that even more back into it you know yeah it's really cool i love that domino's like okay that's how that's cool but how did you how did you just do it and she's like oh you know she's so smart you know it's it's yeah. a really cool thing to be like oh okay where are these mm -hmm. 
And this comic, like it's, it's, it's firing on all cylinders. There's not a wasted moment, but there are very human, quiet, beautiful moments. Mm-hmm. And then they're on this train. Yeah, it goes from being peaceful, beautiful in the thing, then her going, oh, here's a four-leaf clover. Here's how we're going to figure this out. Here's the train, and then jump right into it. You know, Mission Impossible yeah. style. Yeah, and a voiceover of their conversation of her convincing Peter to go with her. Mm-hmm. And he's like, mm-hmm. I really don't want to, but anything for you, you know, of course. And then the stakes are raised, and you're like, oh, my God, I hope one of them doesn't doesn't die here. Like, do you mm-hmm. feel, oh, this, this like, what's going to happen on this mission? Yeah. You don't want, any- for, you you don't want, want anything. No. And you are the for the mission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, no, I don't. It's yeah. fine. You guys are good. You know, take a break. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's no need. And then they're jumping across, doing all this, and then jumping. And then they jump into blood. There's so much to talk about on every page here. Yeah. Like, visually, you say often that you visualize things at times like a movie. Yep. I think there was something about this issue, something about this storytelling through the art, through the writing, through the characters. It pieced itself in my imagination. Like mm-hmm. I didn't have control of the pacing. It was pacing itself. They jump down yeah. into the blood and it's like, oh my God, what? Boom, they break through that. Oh my God, those are all domino. Mm-hmm. Like, what a violation. Peter puts his hand on her shoulder. It's just like silence. Uh-huh. It's such a violation. And then, boom, oh, there's dominoes. Like, it's just, it ramps yeah. itself up. And then the next page goes to the side like that, and she's saying something, oh, like dominoes, you set them up and hit them down. Visually, that take is interpreted, oh, it's so cool. Oh yeah, and then the, even in the in the train, seeing through the train. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I mean. So like cool. It sets yeah. up like boom, boom. Like, yeah, you're it's... just like, what is going on? You, I can see through this jumping up, and then for her to, then to bring it back again oh. to the whole promise of remembering. You know, which was only four pages ago, fast pages, <laughs> but well, I have goosebumps. Um, yeah. Oh, I won't die on you unless you promise me. You'll remember. I'll remember everything. Yep. And he promises. Yep. Would you have promised and would you follow through with that promise? In that moment, I don't. Like even knowing that the possibility to come back and remember and all this stuff is a thing. Yeah. Do you want to be the statistic of being the one that doesn't work? <laughs> I would promise, you know, I promise, but I don't know yeah. if I follow through with that promise. Yeah. yeah. No matter even if her coming back without being haunted by all those things, that is such mm-hmm. a ingredient of her personality. If you take that out, it could mean that the love and the bond that's growing between us it might just be gone. You know what I mean? Like she could be a yeah. different person and I could be sacrificing that love. Oh, I don't know if I would break that promise. Mm. That sounded extremely painful. <laughs> Did yeah. You crack your neck. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's yep. like amplified. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's like, oh. oh. Um, do you, yeah, do you have an answer? Would you, would you promise? And then would you follow through with the promise? Yeah. In the moment, I'd promise. And then I think I would know that I promised. So I would have to. Good for you. Which would, yeah. It's just like, ah. Uh, yeah, I suppose I would. Oh, it's tough, but I, I would follow through with the. And she says, "Thank you." How? Oh, I'm like, "Thank you, God." Oh, Which makes it so that Wolverine issue one can take place after this now, because Domino, she's gonna lose the Krakow inside of her. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. That's awesome. 
And then we've got I mean, this little this, bit. Yeah, this like. The peacock, the man mm-hmm. with the peacock tattoo. And it goes through, and then the guy shows up. Mm-hmm. Do you have any guesses on who the shadow... Well, first, I've always thought that this peacock guy was a bit of a punk. Like, yeah. I would want to meet him in and out yeah. by ourselves. Without his counsel and his security around him, I'd love to just pummel him. Like, he's not an... Yeah, oh, no, he's not... He's, yeah. Figure. He's exactly that big time person with all his people right. around him. But crumbles. So I love that somebody has kind of been like, you're treating this like a democracy. And he just kicks the security. He's like, out. nope, that's not how that works. I'm in charge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this shadowed figure, that made me really excited because although I liked everything that was happening in the shadows, it was always tainted by this idea of like, you're not supposed to enjoy villains. Well, you're not supposed to like villains, but you can enjoy them, you know? And I was enjoying the peacock man. Cause I'm just like, Oh, you twerp. Mm -hmm. Um, This guy. I can't tell. Does he have a red eye? It looks like maybe a red eye. Or is that just what, how we're supposed to perceive it? Or like, it looks like a red eye. There's something about that silhouette that is familiar to me. I mean, honestly, he's, he's young in this world, but he looks like that silhouette looks like a cable silhouette. But hmm. like a bigger. But again, it's also things that I'm reading right now. So. Right. right. <laughs> I want, I don't think this is right, but the silhouette looks like the Red Skull. Really? Because he had this, the last time I yeah. read about him, he had this like um, kind of collar thing. And he's. That'd, you know, be, that'd be interesting. That'd be- for sure. He's a racist. You know, he's a Nazi against mutants. That would be the ultimate racist kind of like, hey, wait. That's crazy. This yeah. Other- I don't, and again, I don't, I don't picture, and me, I'm still in that realm of, even though it's in the, still the same world, mm-hmm. I don't put Red Skull in that same. Yeah. Yeah. World, you know, I think would be really cool because it would break out the regular. Yeah. Which is cool because I mean, even now with, you know, some of those issues or X-Men Fantastic Four and stuff or that has that. Um. So yeah, I mean, connecting all these dots would be, but again, who knows what they're going now? We have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, I maybe it's just the timing of it, but um, really, Peter and Domino talking in the water and the things that yeah. they're saying to each other, and how he essentially just like had her back. There was something kind of like like nurturing about it to me yeah. like, mm-hmm. i felt it like just like positive bond people having each other's back maybe right now and how lonely it is you know it's just yeah. it's a yeah. quiet existence there's something that is very very powerful about two people just trusting you know, mm-hmm. it, it's a it's a it's a valuable, very very valuable thing, um, and yeah, I uh, even with the art not entirely attractive in the way that yeah. I would liked the panel to panel storytelling, it's undeniable that there's so a good. quality to it. Yeah, yeah, um, it gets another another A from me. Yeah. X-Force. He's across the board. X-Force is just coming in hot. Mm-hmm. Issue 8. Um, yeah, I give it an A as well. Same reasoning. Uh, I, it flowed. The art even being different was still something that I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was the story kept going, pushed me through. Um, and now leaving me... Sometimes I wasn't as intrigued about who these guys were and the peacock and everything as much. 
but then this time leaving with that little like who is this person yeah made me want more and um yeah so i give it an a awesome uh, the shadowed figure there's a reason he's shadowed i think he's yeah. a famous character you know yeah um yeah so i'm excited excited for to hopefully find out sooner than later but we'll see and um what do you guys think in the comic quality poll a b c d or f what do you give this comic let us know in the comments uh let us also know how you feel about mm. not getting your comics um in this time and and maybe even uh let us know if you're if you're not caught up on something what you are looking forward to catching up on mm-hmm. or is there a run that you have wanted to go down that road with but haven't really wanted to because you have caught up with some comic so yeah just let us know what you're gonna be reading yeah how we, how do you guys feel about superman's secret origin and side by side with watchmen watchmen or do you guys have access yeah, to let us comics? Know. enough of you guys so that you could read along with us? That would be really, oh, really cool. Let us know. And let thanks know. again for um, <laughs> our your patience with any burps of the sound and freezing of quality. But this is where we are. Thanks so much for joining this is. us. To be continued. Bow, wow, wow, wow.